Images of pro-Trump rioters storming the Capitol last week showed some carrying Confederate flags. During the Civil War, the flag was the official symbol of the Confederate States, but more than a century and a half later, it represents rebellion and, for many, racism. The images shocked many Americans, including a descendant of General Robert E. Lee, the commander of the Confederate Army during the Civil War. Reverend Robert W. Lee, the fourth, reacted to the photographs in an Axios article saying, quote, a flag of treasonous and seditious movement entered our capital, and that was an attack on our democracy. And Reverend Robert W. Lee joins me now. As I mentioned, he is the great, great, great nephew of General Robert E. Lee. He's also an author, activist, and pastor at Unifor Church in Newton, North Carolina. Reverend Lee, thank you for joining us. As I said, you're a descendant of General Robert E. Lee, and you grew up with the Confederate flag actually hanging in your bedroom. But as we just mentioned, you said that this symbol in our nation's capital was an attack on our democracy. And you've also said that the removal of Confederate symbols overall is a no-brainer. What sparked this change in your beliefs from your childhood to now, and how do you reconcile your family's history with what you're seeing play out on the national stage? Well, look, when there's scripture that backs this up, it says, when I was a child, I talked like a child, and now I'm not a child anymore, and I need to act in such a way that is becoming of adulthood. And I think a lot of people in our nation need to have a long, hard look at themselves and grow up, because that's what I had to do. I get it. I grew up with this symbol in my bedroom. Uh, but due to strong women of color, uh, due to amazing people in my life who were willing to stand up and say, you know what, Rob, if you want to be a pastor, if you want to grow up and be better than what has come in the past, uh, then you need to get that flag down from hanging in your room and, and, and reckon, and rest something that we'll all have to do is reckon with that history um, of that flag and of the symbols of the Confederacy that are still prevalent in our culture today. Well, last July, President Trump said that the Confederate flag is not a symbol of racism and that it, quote, represents the South. In your opinion, how has President Trump played a role in encouraging those who support Confederate symbols? Uh, President Trump has been the gasoline to this fire uh, that has been fueled uh, in treason and sedition against this country. As we face the greatest challenges that we are facing through a pandemic, through political turmoil, um, through, the, the, through the world, uh, going through all the different trials that we're going through, and even our communities and our local communities, I think about it this way. We needed a leader. We needed a ship, uh, a captain of a ship. And instead, right now, we remain a ship without a captain. Um, he'd much rather golf. Uh, then take care of the issues. And, and on the golf course, I, I get it. I'm from the South. We play golf. We know that the racist, uh, uh, the, the racism that is spewed in his politics is spewed there, too. You are what you are. And he has continued to be a symbol uh, of the lost cause, a second lost cause, if you will. He will can go down in history as the president who was impeached twice, uh, but that won't stop him from continuing to fight. So what people of goodwill everywhere have to do, people who mean well and want this country to be a more perfect union, have to rebut not only the symbols of the first lost cause, Robert E. Lee, uh, Jefferson Davis, uh, Confederate flag, but we also have to rebut the symbols of um, the second lost cause, which is Donald Trump. The president also said removing Confederate monuments is an attempt to wipe out our history. Again, as a descendant of General Robert E. Lee, how do you acknowledge and preserve our nation's history while also seeking progress and understanding how much these images can be uh, wounding and, and continue to sow division and racism in our country? Well, I look at it this way. Just because it's history doesn't mean we have to celebrate it. Uh, I, for instance, I, I'm a nerd. I collect presidential autographs. I have most of the presidents of the 20th and 21st century. Um, but I had the opportunity the other day to have a, a golf ball that was signed by President Trump, and I chose to pass it up because, you know what, now is not the time to engage in the conversation of, of, of which history is more important. Right now, the history is what it is, and it, to some people, it is painful. And for me, as a pastor, for me as someone who is engaged in the work of reconciliation, of helping people, if something's hurting you, you stop. 
you just stop and you move forward. You take a deep breath. You move forward together. And, you know, unity is going to take accountability in this situation. We're going to have to be accountable to one another, not only what has happened, uh, but what will happen as we continue. So for me, we have to be honest about our history uh, without being willing to engage in a celebration of it. You know, you can celebrate it, but that doesn't mean you have to put a statue of it uh, in your town square. Well, Reverend Lee, uh, what do you think people don't know? As you say, you're you're a nerd. You like you like history. What do you think people don't know about Robert E. Lee? I think uh, Robert E. Lee is a very nuanced character in our history. Um, he is someone that requires a lot of study if you're going to claim to be an expert on him. That said, one of the things I do take pride in as a family, for me, is that uh, General Lee is not the only Lee. There's other Lees doing good work out there. Uh, Richard Henry Lee was a member of the Continental Congress, uh, along with uh, other of his relatives. There were people doing good in this community and in this country and in this world, uh, and we have to celebrate those people. We can no longer celebrate a traitor uh, to this country who has become a symbol of oppression and hate towards people of color and marginalized communities out, out, everywhere. Uh, you know, there's no celebrating this man. Uh, he was a traitor. He was uh, for the enslavement of black people. And as soon as we're honest about that, the sooner we can get moving forward and I can get off TV and back to pastoring congregations. Um, but until that day, we've got to be honest with ourselves and not willing to engage in the uh, the what about isms or the the the, tra the 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 rhetoric that leads to more treason and sedition and insurrection that we saw on January 6th. Reverend Robert Lee, thank you. Thank you.